Are you ready to unlock full potential of Windows 11? In this video, we will cover some of the most essential areas to master Windows 11. And we're going to cover these four topics, which is first of all, customize your experience. Then we will talk about boosting your productivity, hidden keyboard shortcuts and tool, and finally optimizing the system like a pro. So let's start with our first section, which is customizing your experience. Windows 11 offer a new level of personalization, letting you design your desktop to fit your workflow and style. And to see that, let me quickly jump to my computer screen. And there we go. And let's start with first customization, which is moving start menu to the left. If you find that location more comfortable, then we can easily do that by making right click on our taskbar and then go to taskbar setting. And here we need to look for taskbar behavior, which is here. And now here we can see the first setting which says taskbar alignment just you need to change it to left and now here you can see just like previous version of windows like 7 8 8.5 and 10 the start menu is now aligned to the left now let's talk about adding some application to our status bar which i would say is really useful when we use certain application a lot for example if i see here and let me search for vlc which i use a lot so I can make a right click on it and can easily add it by using pin to taskbar. As soon as I clicked on pin to taskbar, now here you can see it is now being added to our taskbar. Not only you can add it to taskbar, but you also have option to add it to your start menu. And now if I again click on start menu, you will see a VLC is now being pinned in my start menu. It is that simple guys. Now let's talk about our third setting which is enabling dark mode and the good thing about dark mode is it can reduce eye strain and can save battery life especially when you are using laptop in order to enable it simply we need to click on menu button and then click on settings here then we need to go to personalization look for colors and then from here which says choose your mode select dark mode let's now talk about next setting now which is customizing our widget panel and I would say it is also pretty easy. All we need to do here is you can click on your widget panel. And then uh, from here, you can click on this stop button, which is add widget. And from here, you can look for the widget that you like more. For example, watch list. So I can add a watch list here. So next time, whenever I open widget panel, I can see some of my favorite widget is already there. And let's say if in case you do not like widget at all, what we can do here is we can go again to taskbar setting. We can turn it off and let me also put back my taskbar alignment to center because now I am very habitual of keeping it on center. Okay, so those were some of popular customization available for Windows 11. Now let's talk about how we can improve productivity in Windows 11. And let's start this by opening multiple apps because Windows platform is built to handle multiple apps pretty easy. One such feature that make really outstanding is ability to organize different windows into layouts. For that, we're simply going to press Windows NZ button and there we go. So here you can see as soon as I press Windows NZ, now I'm gonna get these different different layout. Now based on my requirement, I can select any layout and can place these windows based on my requirement which I would say is perfect for multitasking. Now let's talk about tabs in File Explorer. I would say Windows File Explorer become much more smarter than before. Now you can open multiple tabs in File Explorer. Either you can press plus button or you can press Ctrl and T and this way also you may able to open multiple tabs together. By doing this, you can open several things in different different tabs while at the same time you can seamlessly switch between different drives and folder without any clutter now in boost your productivity section let's talk about focus mode so to enable focus mode what we need to do is uh, we need to go to settings and then let's go to system and here we need to look for focus so here we can see the fourth option is focus let's click on it and now here we can see we can start focus section here you can set up your focus time and then if you click here on start focus section you will see windows will automatically shut down all different kind of notification giving you a distraction free 60 minutes or whatsoever the time you have set 
to focus on the thing that you would like to. But please note that if you are expecting some important email, then you may need to check it manually because it's going to silence all notification. Now let's talk about multiple desktop. I would say using multiple desktop, you can easily customize your whole experience. Let's say one desktop you would like to create for work, another one you would like to create for gaming, and let's say third one for personal use. So let's see how we can achieve that. For that, simply press Windows button and tab, and here you will see adding new desktop option. Let's click on new desktop. And now you can basically, uh, you know, rename it, let's say gaming. And the next one will be again for let's say productivity and so on. Now all you need to do is you need to jump on to another desktop and then here you can open or place those things which are important to you. So in this way you can isolate or categorize app. So these were some of quick tips with the help of whom you can boost your productivity. Now let's jump into our next section, which is all about Windows shortcuts. And these tips will help you to navigate Windows 11 like a power user. So let's start with some of essential shortcut first. For example, if you would like to open widgets for that, you can press Windows and W. This will open your widgets. Then let's say if you'd like to take screenshot or record video, then for that you can press Windows Shift and S. This will bring snippet tool with the help of whom you can take screenshots. Then if you press Windows and A, this will bring quick setting up to assess functionality like connectivity, increasing or decreasing sound, or even increasing or decreasing brightness in case of laptop. Now I'm gonna talk about one right click secret start menu that most of us is not aware of. And in order to assess that secret menu, all you need to do is you need to place your mouse over start menu and then make a right click. And here you will see all different kind of advanced setting, for example, event viewer, device manager, task manager, and so on. Now let's talk about emoji. You can place emoji anywhere just by pressing windows button and dot. And now here you can see even I am able to add emoji in windows search. So that was some of really cool windows shortcut, which can be really helpful because these are some of settings that most of us assess a lot. Now let's jump into our final section, which is optimizing our system. And let's start this by disabling unnecessary program in our taskbar. And because of that, our system take longer time to start. For that, let's bring our secret start menu. And now let me click on task manager. Here you need to go to this startup apps. Let's click on that. And here I can see the number of apps that are getting started with Windows Start. For example, this I do not use that often, so I can disable it. And so you need to disable all those apps that you do not use that often. And in this way, guys, you can make your system boot even faster. Now, the next setting here, I'm going to talk about enabling storage sense. By enabling storage sense, it will help you to delete all junk or not so required file by itself. So let's see how we can enable storage sense. For that, let's click here on the start menu and then let's go to settings. In settings, we need to go to system, then look for storage. Here, all you need to do is you need to turn on this storage sense, okay? By turning it on, a Windows storage sense will automatically take care of all junk and temp file and will keep on deleting them on certain intervals. And not only that, you can also see some of cleaning recommendation which can help me to free about 350 gigabyte of this space which is showing me the potential of clearing about 350 gigabyte from my download and that's a lot i would say but before cleaning this i can also save around 40 gigabyte just by cleaning my recycle bin which is really nice now while the windows storage sense clean up my system let's talk about next setting which is how we can adjust sound setting. We know that we can increase or decrease sound by simply dragging this slider. But what's more amazing is if you make right click on this volume button, you can see this option, which is open volume mixture, which will help you to choose and customize app specific audio level. For example, let's say you would like to reduce system sound, but you want to keep, let's say this OVS studio sound at full. You can do that. And as we spoke about sound, let's also talk about display. For that, let's again click here on this menu button, settings. Now let me click on system and now let's look for display. 
And here what we can do in order to improve monitor color accuracy, you can enable HDR. So what HDR will do is it will basically increase the color coverage. But I would say it could be specific to the monitor. For example, this 4K monitor support HDR. But if I let's say choose my this another monitor here, I do not see any option to enabling it. But here still we are getting this auto HDR option. But seems like this is only applicable when somebody is playing games. Now let's talk about one of the last setting and could be one of very important for you that I would like to cover in this video, which is privacy setting. And let's see how we can customize that. So if you do not want Windows or any other application collect your data to bombard ad that is more specific to you, you can reduce data collection by turning off ad tracking in setting. And for that, all we need to do is we need to go to privacy and security. Then we need to go to general and here you can basically disable them. And by doing this, Windows will prevent or itself will not collect data about yourself, which they use to showcase relevant ads about you. So disable this option such that these apps cannot spy on you. So that was our top 20 plus Windows 11 tips and tricks for this video. Which one is your favorite? Please do let us know in comment down below. And if you find this video helpful, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Technoholic for more such content. And I will catch you soon with one such another productivity video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.